In the ancient times, shades were a status symbol. The Roman Emperor Nero watched gladiators fight in the Colosseum through protective lenses made of polished jewels. In 12th century China, dark glasses made of semi-precious smoky quartz were used in court to help judges hide their expressions. This practice was said to make trials more impartial by concealing any clues to the future verdict. Sunglasses were primed for another popularity boost when the US Air Force commissioned a team of researchers to design a protective lens for fighter pilots in 1936. The pilots needed glare reduction that was powerful enough for the bright sunlight of high altitudes, but would still leave their vision precise. The Ray-Ban Aviator was a World War II invention. Sylvester Stallone wore Ray-Ban 3030 Outdoors Man sunglasses with black frame and green lenses in the 1986 American action movie, Cobra. Keanu Reeves wore Matrix Neo Metal wireframe glasses in one of the brothers' pictures, The Matrix Reloaded. A study by the UK's College of Optometrists finds that people who wear glasses do better in job interviews. Why do sunglasses make us look more attractive? Have you been curious as to why sunglasses make us look cool and better? Well, Vanessa Brown, a senior lecturer of art and design at Nottingham Trent University in the UK, was curious too. Her research focuses on the meaning we assign to commonplace, everyday objects. She found that shades make you more attractive because they bring symmetry to your face. In her academic research, she explores the cultural and psychological relationship between sunglasses and our modern idea of cool. In an email to Science of Us, Brown explained what her research has uncovered about why most of us look better in sunglasses. Because they really do make your face look better. To others, glasses can make you look cool or like a dork, but they can also change your self-perception. As Rick Pollas of Psych Magazine says, Sunglasses will have all of your facial features align in perfect symmetry. The dark lenses cover up any asymmetrical oddities around your eyes. A study published in the Public Library of Science on facial attractiveness shows a clear link between symmetry and our perception of beauty. Brown also noted that sunglasses provide a kind of scaffolding effect, imposing the appearance of an external, extra-chiseled bone structure on top of your relatively softer featured face. Of course, one of the benefits is protection against sun rays. Sunglasses are not just giving you look cool also for protecting your eyes from eye decreases. It is fact that if you have a habit to wear sunglasses, then your eyes will go with you till the end. Eyes are the most important part of our body, so to keep it healthy, we should wear sunglasses. If you do not wear, then change your habit and wear glasses for the sake of your eyes. Because of mystery, Dr. Neil Handley, the curator of the British Optical Association Museum at the College of Optometrists, if the eyes are the window into somebody's soul, glass wearers are putting some obstruction in the way. In 2012, Hanley analyzed the changing social norms towards glasses wearers throughout history. One revelation was that while Hitler wore reading glasses, images of him doing so were censored by the Nazi party for fear of his authority being weakened. Glasses are initially medical devices, according to Dr. Hanley. They only became a symbol of fashion 10 to 15 years ago. As humans, we naturally make quick judgments of others just by looking into their eyes. As a result, when you wear sunglasses, you capture the attention of people around you. As Brown explained, the eyes are such a tremendous source of information and vulnerability for the human being. We can easily judge a person's intelligence, sincerity, and level of confidence just by eye contact. But by wearing shades, this will make it impossible for us to be readable. It becomes difficult for people to form a notion about you as they cannot look into your eyes. The other side is that you also become difficult to be understood. A 2010 study published on the psychological science showed that people who wore sunglasses acted more selfishly and dishonestly than those wearing eyeglasses, which the researchers argue suggests that shades delude us into feeling more anonymous or unknown. Also, in a study titled Why Did Passion Wane? A qualitative study of married women's attributions for declines in sexual desire and authored by Karen E. Sims and Martha Mina. The researchers confirmed that an air of mystery increases sexual desire. And a 2010 study titled Uncertainty Can Increase Romantic Attraction and authored by Erin R. Whitchurch, Timothy D. Wilson and Daniel T. Gilbert 
showed that women who were uncertain of a man's feelings towards them ended up reporting more attraction to those men. In other words, we're drawn to people we can't figure out because of their historical link with edginess or glamour. As researcher Brown noted, we take their ubiquity for granted today, but sunglasses are a relatively everyday modern accessory. The sales of sunglasses started in the 1920s but only became popular more than 20 years later. According to Brown, the way sunglasses were most often used prior to their commercialization helps explain some of their inherent coolness because, in their early days, sunglasses were primarily used during risky water and snow sports and were also associated with new technologies like airplane travel, which made them seem daring and thoroughly modern. Brown added, Soon after that, Hollywood stars of the 1950s and 1960s started wearing sunglasses to defend themselves from being recognized by the public or harassed by paparazzi, whose flashbulbs would often explode violently, sometimes literally in their faces. But regardless of practicality, movie stars' adoption of the accessory cemented the link between sunglasses and glamour. If this video inspired you, like the video. We love you.